For this term, my class is going to design a high-rise building. It's just that four weeks along the way, the Center for Campus Art, headed by architect Jerry Torres, contacted me to respond to his upcoming exhibition on the work of Leandro Luxin. Leandro Luxin is our national artist for architecture and is known for his brutalist buildings, namely the CCP, the Folk Arts Theater, just to name a few. Normally, the syllabus requires us to do vertical planning and design, and in my previous classes, we designed about 30 to 40 stories, but uh, since CCA proposed the idea, they also proposed the location of the project and also the typology. This time, we are going to design an architecture building because right now we are using the School for Environmental and Design, which is shared by many programs of uh, the college. The site will be located along Pio Campo beside this uh, high fi building designed by A.J. Javier and an old building on the other side. Last week, if you saw my Zoom meeting with my online class, just in case you notice, we are still in a blended mode. I asked them to uh, design the building according to the assumptions of the program. You have to understand that that week, the project brief was just given to me. And just to keep the ball rolling, I asked them to do form finding without any concrete space program. And uh, as they run along with it, um, they research the required space programs, created a wish list, created some research studies and analysis of the site, etc. And uh, we noticed that the problems of the form finding without any basis. While it's fun, I want them to immerse in the creative process of creating forms with the site in mind and somehow be familiar with the project at hand. The, I separated that method, that process, so that uh, we can also separate the program exercise, which is what this video is going to be about. This week, I had a session with my students and invited former students to join me in the, in the critique of their work. My requirement is for them to specifically create the program, then do the bubble diagram in a three-dimensional form by creating those volumes. So the idea is it without a notion of form, just a notion of stacking because they are limited with a very small property, they just need to work with the adjacencies. And then if they have extra time, they are free to play around it etc and then be more creative and it um, gave us some surprises and of course since since it's their first time to interface with me as their professor there were some adjustments and uh, you can see that they're still trying to learn and unlearn some of the things that uh, encountered in the previous design classes at least for this term be open to new ideas to new methodologies etc because they're still in school to have an overview of the different processes shared with different mentors of our school and then later on they can somehow synthesize or probably choose which one is comfortable for them. But right now, I, I want them to see that each process in the design has its merit and has its uh, disadvantage as well and learn from it and then probably do something interesting along the way. So this is how the critique happened. So let's start off with the ground floor. These are basically basically two volumes of two different lobbies. One is for the library, which will be underground, and one will be the lobby for uh, everything else. So we kind of wanted to separate the library from the um, from the lobby from the rest of the building because we want it to be more uh, public focused where people outside the uh, outside of the school can kind of freely learn and go in so it's at the very forefront of the building by the street and then the entrance would also be there and then for the back part we decided to keep this open for different activities, it'll be more flexible. And the in-between space and everything else is an exhibition space where people on the ground level, outsiders can walk through and kind of see what's happening inside this building. Okay. <laughs> we have 
we're, well, we'll begin to see um, a part of the studio space, that's co-working space. This will be a series of terraces that will interplay with the inside of the building. But the main focus of this area is for learning. So we have a couple of classrooms here and an auditorium. An auditorium where, as, as said before, kind of references Becky's kitchen with the cut. So there's already that use for the cuts here. Moving up to the next floor. We have the faculty and more and some discussion rooms, the dean's office, and the 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 follow-up terrace for the co-working space. Mm -hmm. Um before moving on, I just want to point out that this will be the elevator core. It's just hard to fit right now. Yeah, it'll be like that. Our fourth floor is um, the cafeteria, which is why it, which is kind of like a break point in between the building where people can gather, rest, and relax. Yeah, so after the cafeteria, we have dito na start yung um, clusters for the learning spaces. So in this area, we can have um, design. I mean, for the fifth floor, pala, these are more on classrooms, so hybrid learning spaces. So yung six, seven, eight, dito na mag start yung clusters. Here. Almost same lang sila. Also, what we did with the forms, ng hallways, is naka um naka open open up nasa towards the view of the sunset here on the east side of the site. And for the last floor here. So yun pa rin, um workshops, um, listening or classroom areas, and active spaces, more like workshops and collaborative spaces. And in this part, yung nasa model kanina, yung staircase na malaki. And naka-view nga siya towards the sunset. Then that's up our presentation. So, uh, did you forget anything regarding the presentation? I think you mentioned earlier about a feature of your design. Um, yung last slide lang, sir. Para lang mas ma-visualize mas ma-visualize yung viewers yung clusters. Kaya di naman siya sa panel. Oh, okay. Uh, it's unfortunate that a few of your classmates weren't here because somehow a feature of this scheme exemplifies that kind of referencing that we are expecting uh it's not enough that you just say that um there's a view you need to show it although when we're looking at the model it doesn't have the model of becky's kitchen and the hi-fi that is why it doesn't do justice to your ideas because you cannot demonstrate it that's why also you need to have your own site model because you cannot share this in one space uh in all your homes no so i want you guys to create your own model so that you are more inspired referencing the design that you are making with the existing context okay i know it's work but it's a necessary evil so that uh, you can really enjoy this process my question is are all the spaces based on a studied space requirements Okay. Pero each cluster parang we can fit mga eight eight rooms, eight to ten rooms each hallway. Okay. Well, I'm I'm very happy with what I witnessed during the presentation. Remember that the objective of the exercise is to uh, to uh, be more familiar with the program.
and be more familiar with how it in, can influence the volume. But the merit of their presentation, guys, is that they were playful with the form in referencing um, the context. And uh, you know how I noticed that there might be a pro problem with the program? You know how? The discrepancy between the auditorium and the other spaces. Sir, well, that's not, I designed the auditorium to be not as grand as the one here in SDA because this is our main theater. But oh, how many seater? Uh, I don't really know. Oh, see, that, that has to be uh, defined, all right? But, uh, um, but it's very intuitive for them to put the slant facing Becky's kitchen. Maybe it was inspired by the SDA underbelly, we don't know, but uh, it's actually an, a clever idea. The question if it's going to fit within the given space remains to be seen. Okay, but again, for the first attempt, I think uh, I'm very, very happy with what I'm seeing and uh, how playful you guys are. And it also demonstrates that you guys are creative and you know what is expected for this uh, uh, for the for the form finding process. However, for this week's deliverable, it's not what is being expected. Do you get it? But uh, I think you need to work on the pragmatic aspect, and then uh, maybe inject creative gestures later on that that are purposeful and functional. Okay, so while the others are lacking in this aspect, you guys naman are lacking on, not naman lacking, but somehow didn't consider the functionality. Try to, if this was actually based on the actual space requirements, this would have been very impressive. So uh, I borrowed this model so that we can demonstrate that whilst this has good ideas, as mentioned before, earlier than you guys, um, the current situation, we know that somehow it's all horizontal, maybe except for this yellow volume. That this yellow volume intersects with the blue and with the green. So that sort of creates that interest. It's the same situation that we have at the LRC. And normally we use this situation in, in uh, lobbies, etc., because you want a grand experience. So uh, that's why everyone dreads to build models because you find it useless. But if you think with the model, such as rearranging the volumes and the, the zones, etc., it's a different story. For example, this yellow one, what if, you know, you question it, no? What if it doesn't have to be horizontal? Maybe what if it's like that, you know? So how do you create an interesting flow of circul flow of people? How do you create an interesting view from the different zones, etc.? That's why you're dreading to make a model because you can draw a floor plan with this idea. Do you get it? But with this idea, you cannot draw a floor plan because it's very dynamic in terms of spaces. So uh, that's why it is disliked in many schools and also in practice. So uh, somehow this is good, no? this auditorium. So you see it an, in a very horizontal manner because that's how conventional buildings work. It's actually efficient, let's, let's face it. But if you want to create interesting spaces, you need to experiment more, and that's what we're doing. Another a comment that I have, although this one also fail, um, falls in the same category, is uh, the familiarity of the spaces. Are the space programs based on your space requirements that you studied? Like, uh, it has the number of furniture inside, etc. Did you study it? Most of the Okay, so this goes for everyone. Make sure that you review your space requirements, include the number of furniture, the furniture layout. 
while it's not final yet at least you are familiar with the sizes that it can that can still change the shape of the room um i'm happy to hear that but how i wish that you created this volume so that you can be more playful with it uh that's the purpose of our exercise but you can still uh you know uh we have you know we have another series uh, opportunity to recreate it so that you can exercise better uh, but uh, it would have been nice if the colors are outside so that you can visually imagine it and uh, and uh, now that you are doing this this is not useless at all because somehow you can imagine that the drafting area is this big the lecture is this big and how you orient, orient it if I'm going to critique it as a plan, I can see a lot of wasted spaces. Okay. Okay. So I guess let's let's review that because uh I remember the previous the, the, this group um, they're leaning towards creativity and now I'm I'm trying to question the pragmatic aspect of it in terms of space requirements whereas you guys I think you need to work on both uh, planning and because uh, right now we don't see any detail in the common areas although I believe in the colored areas it's studied but the white areas um, right now it feels a bit not random or arbitrary like uh it's hard to believe at this time unless you you draw the the stairs the cr etc and that might contradict what you're saying that it's a community space because you might run out of spaces but i could be wrong because we, we don't know eh? so uh but i love the the spaces the commitment to reflect it on the on the surface but i'm i'm telling you that uh, somehow this is a bit useless because this can be drawn as a floor plan but uh, somehow based on the presentation of the previous group you get this exercise naman, no? why we're doing this okay because it has to be about the program and then little about the form so uh but the moment you're done with the program, then you can play around it, like Jenga. You can push and pull, etc. Okay, so I'm I'm teaching you that process so that you can see, and probably when you go around different buildings, you can already be critical, or maybe they, 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 you know, so uh, how playful they they were, etc. So that you can get, you know, progressive buildings how they were designed. Okay, I'll see you. Thank you, guys. Pablo Ocampo, then ito yung Consuelo Street. So, yung um, circulation of vehicles dito, uh, one way to papunta dito. Tapos ito one way. So, like pag ganun siya. So, dito naman, yung opposite, papunta naman dito. Papunta sa east, east side. Actually, yung, ano, yung orientation ng buong side, saktong dito yung north east bandas. Like, ano siya, lahat daw siyang pag-ano. Kasi nyo yung north. Dito yan, pag-ano. Ay, pag-ano. Sorry, sa inyo yung hi-fi? Kitty hi-fi. Kitty Becky's kitchen. So, yung hi-fi, yung height niya, nung in-estimate kami, mga 20 meters around dito. Kasama na yung parang east dun sa taas, na color orange. Four floors lang siya. Ayan. So, starting dito sa entrance, nag-setback na lang kami para din merong, magkaroon kami ng driveway para kapag may mga nagbababa, nagbababa ng mga um, sasakyan, meron silang space pa rin. Kaya yun, konting-konti lang. Like, parang sa hi-fi lang. Kasi sa hi-fi, meron parang ganyan lang na uwang. And yung loading and unloading is when the pool dito kasi is, this is hi-fi. Ito po yung nurse at kanto ng bed so baka po mag-cause na traffic. So dito po. Medyo konti. 
So, yung entrance niya, like, papal pa ganun, para, kasi dito may stairs kami dito, like, yung malaking stairs, yung iniisip namin, para doon sila pwede magkaroon ng seating area yung mga students, since yung lobby area doon, doon niya, yung lobby, part ng lobby area, yung stairs na yun. Tapos, um, iniisip din namin na may vegetation, para nga siyang tambayan, yung stairs mismo. And then, paikot siyang ganyan. Tapos, tuloy-tuloy siya hanggang third floor. Yeah na connected, kukonnect lang yung parang second floor dun sa path ng stairs, pero tuloy-tuloy pa din, parang ano, malalaki yung steps niya, tapos tuloy-tuloy, yun yung na-imagine natin. Pero if you just use the phone, na nakakakakat nyo na lang siya, and then you can just rearrange. I, I see the struggle one, kasi you're more conscious of finishing it, and uh, the process of playing with it, and committing to the spaces, are not there. Um, especially when you lo looking at the hallways. Um, oh, yun, kasi you need to show it. Eh. Uh, remember, our method to prove is always what you are showing. So, for example, you're talking about uh, the relationship between this. If this is the pink, are, are the pink the classrooms? Yes. Classrooms, all design studios. All design studios, etc. You know, you need to commit in a way that, like I said, I, while I know that this is about program, it's also about relationships. So uh, we already know that this is domain. Uh, this is pure uh, camp. You don't need to tell us that. What we need to know is are the adjacencies why you position us in a certain way. Okay, kanina when you explain that uh, this is a drop off point, that this is the uh, the stair area, etc. But what's under mm -hmm. the stair area? It's being used by our team a lot right now. Diba? And it's part, parang kahit nung panahon pa namin, sinasabi niya na gamitin namin yung hi-fi. So maybe it's something you could anchor on. Kasi it's a, it's a public space, diba? yung hi-fi. So, and parang maybe you could, it could influence where you place the public space. I don't know if it's gonna work, but maybe it could be. For this it. Ano, project, uh, we didn't really consider uh, hi-fi uh, at gets, the, gets for the Q data. Uh, yeah, honestly, we didn't. Uh, pero baka. Yeah, like I said, this is the first attempt, but I want to be surprised that it's considered because I already provided that brief. Remember last week, I already mentioned Becky's Kitchen, the example of all the new building, etc. So, because uh, as of now, ang ang dating niya is para siya nakatanikon sa hi fi uh, but they're of the same institution and I guess generally same use them. So, maybe we can connect somehow. But the more like counter idea is, not really idea, but um, single parang, it's like a little connection, parang a mirror. More of a mirror. More of yes. a mirror. Okay. okay. Yeah. But I think the way you can show it, because when you're looking at the model, you have the yellow volumes, you have the different colored volumes. It's not showing the negative space to allow that connection. So again, guys, you need to show it. All right. Again, this is your first attempt. It's just unfortunate they're the first group to present. So uh, all the bad examples <laughs> will be presented. Early stages. Early stages. This is our second week for this, for this project. Kasi may isip yun eh, parang when you're programming, may isip niya, like what sir said, yung volume, alam niyo yung brutalist eh. Yes. So you would know na, you won't, ang, ang una mong isip yun, it's, those are masses. So, itong large chunk of program here, assume mo, isang mass yun. Yes. So kaya ako na feel na, but parang nakatalikod siya from high high. So, our first step in creating this model is to really define which uh, spaces that we're going to provide or like what is the important spaces and after that we had the concept of Leander Loxin as well wherein we've noticed about his structure is that when you look at his structure it's kind of um, when you look at for the exterior and then when you uh, go in or the interior is kind of uh, big and the high ceiling and we wanted that to be a part of this structure then and yeah
Um, so from what Trav said, actually, from the other look scene, you know, it's a great takeaway exterior wise because we must be inspired kami when looking at his work interior wise. So exterior wise, siguro, um, cause parang we watch like a mini vlog of like the space. So parang don like Mikey na how the big monumental shapes actually create sun shading in some parts as well as how to dramatize your space from the outside to inside. Let me cut you, huh? Those things that you are saying, those bits and pieces, those are the parties. It's supposed to be on a diagram format. Do you get it? Those are the ideas. Okay, game. Okay, and then so from there, uh, since we knew uh, what inspired us in, uh, with Leandro Luxine, so the next one is for the Brutalist Architecture. So with that, the concept na parang na inspired kami is texture wise and finish. Um, uh, texture wise, the the imperfections. So with that, our takeaway namin is, ayon instead of just using raw concrete with texture, um, parang we don't want na very linear yung wall um in terms of spaces. So as you uh from here, in angle na namin yung spaces. But before that, the way we angle the spaces is naka ano na siya sa uh, space programming. So since yung first week last week, we really played with the form and yung comment na ni sir na parang okay, we have to think naman next in terms of having uh, uh, big, instead of just playing with the form, kailangan na namin isipin of how to do that while thinking with the spaces. So since last form, you are you already wanted na textured talaga yung uh, well, so very linear. So, and, and also, parang as King said, we didn't want the structure to be like very flat. Kaya we opted to create some openings wherein we could uh, provide vegetation as well or open spaces since we, parang we wanted that to be part of the structure since parang wish this namin yun as an architectural student. Parang we want a space for uh, students to decompress for a stressful for a stressful day. And with that, some big sample ng open. Um, so, siguro yung first na lang. Siguro yung first na lang. So, 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 ito kasi yung open area namin. Where it's like a, it's a courtyard. So, all of the spaces, ang ano namin, in terms of vegetation is to have a view here and not just to focus outside or to put nga uh, parang yung vegetation na nakafocus kasi some of yung mga inspo pics when you search parang eco brutalism you would see na ang daming uh, greenery sa exterior exterior Wise. So the same naman, uh, we wanted to be inside para uh, ma feel talaga na kasama siya when you uh, experience the building na when you walk around it, uh, yung makikita mo is yung courtyard or yung greenery from down below. So from here, this is the lobby. And then, so one of our theory then is about this invisible st string theory wherein uh, buildings connect to one another like parang there's an open space wherein uh, buildings connect and then obviously people will connect within it as well so parang yun yung one of our theory we added to this structure so for the next one naman is um binis actually namin yung pag divide the space uh, sa classroom size na so even after when we want to change it up medyo same pa rin yung dimension so even if we want to switch okay we don't want this to be a classroom anymore parang for us it would be interchangeable or at least magagawa namin easier than to redo the whole thing so from that um, ito nga yung mga classroom and then again we have the views here hindi naman siya nilagyan ng interior walls kasi 
we want to show how uh, people would walk from here uh, to the white area so um, how it's connected to the this is a part, the open area is a part of the building itself. Um, and then the common, the green uh, is like the yung, yung common area for students to do their work. So, may kita na it's in this side, which is like the high fine side. And because parang inisip namin na maybe we could put an opening na mada direction that can open here and then ma ma they can go na inside the building itself from the high fly. And then this yellow uh, symbolizes you for the auditorium, because from last week parang um, na sinasabi nga namin yung mga data in terms of like yung ARCHI students parang na bring up na hindi naman kasha yung buong 900 dun sa ARCHI hall so parang yun yung naging prioritize namin for, for a level and also these spaces are for the greeneries or, uh, and for yeah for greeneries to represent biodiversity then and I think that is one of the concepts that we are what to wing in this project. So, uh, from this, yung mga spaces, uh, nag repeat na lang siya. So, for uh, this two floors, uh, same lang siya with the, uh, with the following. Because, ang um, idea namin why we do that, because, yun nga, yung spaces is para naka base it, uh, with this square. So we could inter interchange your spaces nonetheless after it would war. Be flexible for us. Yes. Yeah. And last is this. Your workspace. Um, we know that uh, the group put a lot of hard work in this scheme. And then if there's going to be a program, they were able to fit. I think it can be efficient. If this is assumingly the actual program, of the architecture school. However, although I understand because this is not something that you are familiar with yet, and uh, I think it's only now that you realize it's supposed to be all about program, what happened is you designed in a conventional manner like a floor plan. Do you get it? Because how did I say that? You define the edges you define the perimeter wall and then you fit the program inside when supposed to be imagining the program as a volume and then stack them together functionally play around it according to the experience that you want according to the plasticity and the volumetric quality that you want because of the project brief and then modify it you can modify it and then play around it etc right now Everything is introverted. It's like interior planning. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? But I see the merit of it. But uh, I understand there was some confusion uh, because you, I think you were trying to uh, marry the previous scheme. Tama ba? Or no? Parang she mentioned... Somewhat. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. That, that, that what happens, no? But uh, assuming that is correct. Assuming that we approve that scheme not only that uh, it you know it, it doesn't feel like it's uh, very volumetric because when you look it on the sides it's so boring we don't know that yet because we don't see the right now i'm seeing no building <laughs> Not beyond the property line, but remember our property expanded, so you can introduce open spaces, etc. You yourself said, as architect students, you need open space, whether it's located at the ground or the topmost floor, upper stories, etc. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. But when I'm looking at the parties on the plant box, it's still very 
ordinary, banal, nothing new about it, just basically a box. Do you get it? What I meant by you know, creating a you know, vegetation, etc. How is it integrated to enhance the experience of the users? How is it integrated in the architecture? How is it propagating that specific species? Okay, you can refer to their batch uh, design form on Plantito and Plantita, wherein they design the architecture that is meant for a specific plant. So that can also inform whether we'll be, be able to use it for this or not, we'll find out. In our process of form finding, magkasama po, um, parang magka, kasama po talaga tong front part sa structure. It just looks like it's a framing, but we didn't know how to like, uh, as it's our first experiences of sketch model pa. Um, we just wanted to show how it really looks at the front because it's important in how we'll um, tour you around the space. So, um, as it is kind of um, the model is kind of unstable. Um, di po masyado may kita, but when you go to the ground floor, it's actually a big opening and incorporating our idea of the roots earlier, which is the anchoring. Um, the ground floor is basically what, uh, from the word itself, it grounds the users with the space around them, and um, it grounds them in a way that. Um, it allows them to appreciate the space more before they enter the architectural school. So it helps them as well to um, communicate with the Becky's kitchen. Um, we were supposed to be an open space as well. And also the Hi-Fi building, there's a staircase in front of it, like on this side. So it's basically accessible from uh, the other building, uh, the Hi-Fi building as well. And um, it allows for a more um, um, curiosity by users since the ground floor is just um, a very open space, but um, essentially actually makes you want to see more um, of what the building has to offer. And also to add to that, uh, kasi po, binis din po namin siya sa key study namin dun sa Glazelle School of Arts na yung stairs is ginagamit, hindi lang ginagamit for uh, an intersection but also a space na pwedeng mag-form ng mga informal discussions, uh, something that students can actually use, hindi lang basta dinadaanan. So, ayun po. And then going to the second floor, um, going back to how we mentioned Hi-Fi earlier, we incorporated them in terms of the volume of uh, the spaces since in Hi-Fi, as we have you been to Hi-Fi, uh, we personally haven't been there, but from our research, um, in spaces po nila, or yung each floor nila has a story of its own, or it's a step-by-step -step process as you go up. So, uh, just to mention, high fives ground floor is of course the lobby and the reception, and then going to the second floor is the aviation floor, and then the proto next level is prototyping, and lastly is the synthesis floor. So, with that idea, we wanted to um, also um, relate our architectural school with, of course, the high five building that's beside it. So, going to the second floor, we made sure to um, put more of the co-working spaces on the lower floors uh, since going up it would be more of a private space and also a more educational space so it would really be helpful to um, distinguish those um, spaces from one another from hierarchy as well so the students would know when they're in each floor um, what kind of like um, behavior they'll portray in the space. So going to the second floor, it's mostly uh, admin offices as well, and the um, the workshops or printing stations that students would need um, in an architectural school. And then going to the third floor up to the fifth floor, it's of course the most important part of a school is the design studios and the classrooms and computer labs. So they're basically, um, 
very interrelated with one another because students usually just go in a classroom um, where there's a drafting table and they work there. So with that idea, it is um, really interchangeable spaces and it helps with the um, connection of all the spaces with one another without really distinguishing that this is a classroom and that space is just a uh, design studio. So um, everywhere is a working space and it would um, help uh, continue the learning of students in the space. And then going lastly to the uppermost floors, which is from the six to uh, seven to eight floors, but we have here a roof deck part. It's all the communal spaces, and this area is an open area, and we wanted to put uh, all the spaces here that would uh, cater more to uh, visitors as well and um, guests, so they could get a so essentially a tour of the school from going to the ground floor and they would be forced to go up to the uppermost floor to attend to the um, auditorium that we have here that's why the space is that uh, the contour is like that and then the open area here as uh, we mentioned would be the vegetation area yes po uh, makikita po sir sa mga uh, last slides is it a rough rough sketch pala or rough render pa lang po yung nakikita niya na para uh, doon yung ilalagay yung mga plan so gusto lang po muna namin ipakita kung paano yung idea sana kung saan yung vegetation saan tagapang yung mga devil's ivy so and then as you can see this part na po is where it, um, of course it comes in it's um, essentially, we are beside two buildings that are important within the site or within the area. So we wanted something significant for our building as well that would uh, catch the uh, person's view from uh, outside or as they walk by. So we wanted to put a balcony here that's basically showing as well the inside of the building from the top. But essentially, uh, you won't really be able to see it from below the what's inside, but it would make you curious of what's going on up there. And it also from the person's perspective here on the balcony, they'd be able to see the area where um, the new um, campuses are uh, mostly in. And yeah, that's how we created our space. And also for the other case study that we had, this is the inspiration for. Um, I basically we had another case study, sir. If you remember, yung may um, roof lounge, siya, na green roof essentially, but it's uh, meant to be a lounge for the users. So we wanted this area to be a lounge for all the users, not uh, only students, but also the, the present university. Uh, the present university in. And then, and then, yeah, it's um, also incorporating our our idea for vegetation. Um, what else? I idea about the bombs and the light. So, uh, so in uh, nilagay din po namin yung mga uh, analysis namin dun sa kompano kung paano gumawa si Loxy ng brutalism so yung sa bouncing ng light so uh, figured na kapag nag-open kami sa gitna hindi siya magmumukhang direct uh, yeah, direct and at the same time hindi mukhang madilim yung loob and merong natural light na pumapasok sa kanya and it bounces hanggat sa ilalim so and also na, ano kami na Extrude. 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 Extrude.
tracks would be uh, requiring a certain space, we just group together, um, for example, building tech and also um, those that would need a workshop and a lab to, uh, for the activities. And here we want to also add a balcony. Um, it would be a view of the Malate itself. No, creating no, no, no. A, um, integrating the idea of uh, opening more spaces not in a way that it really opens the space but also like allows for users to um, feel the space more around and, and appreciate what's uh, the bigger picture on this balcony than uh, so, being so this is a balcony yes this part yes cool. and they are for uh, Katulad po nung sa mga party kanina sa kay Luxin, meron siyang laging a uh, specific shape na nagi stand out and prominent. So we try to uh, somehow parang it try na i-implement sa aming building. So but at the same time it's very functional and connected po siya hindi lang siya skeleton. So ganun po yung idea. Well, nakikita mo ba? Uh, pero magiging volumetric to, hindi siya yung ganyan talaga kanipis. Mali lang sa model. It looks like a food. Kasi, oh, kasi, I guess. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yung ano niya. Uh, yung, uh, yung silhouette niya. May, did, did something influence this front form here to be, I guess somehow distorted that way? Uh, looks, the hi-fi building mm. is showcasing a very sharp angles and so we uh, incorporated it in our own if if you guys want to know how the hi-fi building was designed this year aj yeah he has a video in his instagram there's a morphology process of his building so hindi lang siya inspired by a building he it was like a step-by-step -step process you would learn a lot yeah like he, he didn't come up with this in the first step he had different, um, let's say, stretching, protruding, extruding, to end up with a total form like that. Kaya kita mo yung high five, tagos yung form like that. So, mga pwede na aralan mo. You know the meaning of arbitrary? Uh, wait, I'd like to mention, uh, I remember, I recall the idea yeah. that I also had here. Yeah, um, right. We extruded um, from the form by Lipo. Uh, extruded these floors and uh, in these angles in a way that uh, we also opened up certain areas uh, for views and the main part is the middle part for the staircase to be seen at the front of the school uh, and we covered up the middle part because basically it is a an educational space and we don't want much of the noise from the road to uh, come into the classrooms or the studios so the main covered part or the main extruded part is the classrooms to um, since it's concrete and then going up to these floors it open up it opens up here because it's um, more of the open area where uh, users can get to gather and interact with the architecture okay what you are saying make a lot of sense but I remember him saying, do you see what uh, they're saying? Yeah. We don't see it eh. Right now, we all see the diagonal as a random gesture. That has nothing to do with what you are saying. So, uh, but I understand why this resulted, why this model resulted to, the, to this. It's because, again, with this process, which I already expected, since a programmatic model is going to be viewed very horizontal, in a very horizontal manner. So, uh, in, or in order for you to see and uh, implement those ideas, is that you need to play with the verticality of the volumes. As we want whole. to see as a, as a whole. Not just as a whole, but also as layers. Because it's important for them to go through this process. For example, we would see the blue volumes intersecting with the green. One of the reasons why SDA is like this, I remember in the explanation of Ed Karma, if you notice, you have 
the drop of point and then all of a sudden you have the underbelly of the of the auditorium interesting right and then you go to a lobby which is expected there has to be a shock and awe a value to that and uh, he said that he wants the building to inspire future designers I don't know if it does that maybe you can tell me I don't know yet uh, there has to be a study for that but you notice that he also repeats the same experiences those d double volumes in other areas such as the amphitheater um, he also repeats that in the LRC so he doesn't want the building to be all horizontal and then divided into rooms because he tries to break it apart our stage for creating these volumetric programs in color-coded manner is for you to see the uses in a conventional way and then break it apart do you get it? so the diagonal the, while it's interesting, it reminds you of citadins in Legaspi village yung bagong hotel so, uh, it actually communicated to me as a as a perforated screen that's another layer and I think you mentioned there is why we misinterpreted it so assuming it is a volume there's a huge disconnect from the horizontal, the diagonal foldings, folds of the outside to the interior, the, the ideas that you're saying. But, for example, you're talking about a view. For example, lang, you, you have enough space here. And then you have Becky's kitchen here. And then you mentioned maybe a balcony of the classroom. Then maybe a protrusion, a small box, protrudes outside because you allow the view of the Becky's kitchen, it's like a balcony, etc. Is that agreeable or not agreeable? It depends on the location of the balcony. Yeah, but uh, that particular gesture, if you do that versus this one, between this and that idea, for example, you have a, you made another model that is a, a volume protruding out. Do you think when you say that, that's viewing uh, Vegas Kitchen, do you think that's agreeable versus this? Do you get it? I want you to qualify the model that you're making because again, this is the method of proof of your idea. If if your idea is symbolical and there is a, there's a, there's nothing wrong about it, but the problem is that it's very hard to communicate. Not everyone will agree with you. And uh, what we're trying to do is make all the gestures, creative gestures that you do more agreeable. Yeah, so this, there shouldn't be any disconnect. All right? So trapezoidal something. So I wanted to ask, does it look Leandro looks in to you still? Or yeah, have, have you lost question. the soul of it? The point of what you're doing here is to maintain or like to elevate the soul of the Antelope 6 designs. But then if you do this, maybe, maybe, maybe the constructivism aspect to it, which I'm not familiar with, but I don't see it right now. And by your explanation, it's, I don't think it is. And uh, I wanted to offer then like what you can do next. I'm not sure, pero what you can do is Analyze more of what the Androdoxin does because what I noticed with your drawings, Kanina, was everything is symmetrical or balanced. So PACC, CCP, and the dome, the, the pyramid, it's all very balanced, which I don't see here. Like I said, it's very the constructivism ish. So without those be very I guess important or basic principles which is lost already I don't know it's new Leandro Luxin. and to add to that yung biomimicry of um sinanggal mo ba yun press pa rin yung building mo yeah it doesn't add to anything you can look into the Barbican in London it's a brutalist development um, that the designers aim to connect people with nature. 
So I think they did it well. We think it. But then they said well. it worked well there, from what I observed. Because the military, it became a central focus point. Yeah. No compound. It's not just on the side. It's not just extra element. Parang sinikir mo lang kasi yung bayan ni Yuki na. So parang needs to be part of it. So. No. Then, then, then. Then, then, then. Because it's. Yeah, and dami niyong kasing siguro just. Nagawa. Oh, and dami niyong nang sinasabi. And yes, we were saying that we don't see it yet. Pero like Sir said, it makes sense. And if you could be more intentional with your design moves, because even you guys mentioned like it's a small thing lang, yung mga extrusions na lang. They also kind of seem arbitrary. Um, but you could have some sort of reason for it, like, like what Sir said, if you extrude here para makita yung Bentley's kitchen, you can't argue with that. Because if you actually show a perspective and you see that, then you can't, you can't really deny it. So, yeah, like really be more intentional. And intentional doesn't mean bold, it just means being, having a certain reason. I'm not, I'm, I'm, yeah, you could like you could you could have some design moves to create a focus because you are you are also talking about bringing people in a space like how the ground floor brings people in, but just because it's a ground floor, it doesn't mean it will bring people in. So, I guess, but maybe there might be some sort of orientation. You could you could do kung ano ito ikaganyan mo itatapat mo sa kanila. That's also a gesture na rin. So be more intentional with those, para mas convincing cha. Yeah. And that's where parties come. Ah, yun yung mga sinasabi. Because that's proof, like Sir said. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. So there you go. So one of the things that I observe in my current students that they see architecture as a two-dimensional object, so meaning they do the floor plan and then extrude them, and we can call it a day and this process allows them to see it even though the the task was tedious because they had to build it in a tangible manner at least it will allow them to manipulate it somehow rearrange them etc although i know that it can be done using digital tools i want them to be more comfortable with something that's very physical because it's near reality and um, since we will be doing a lot of physical models I want them to practice and immerse uh, in this methodology right away. With that said, it's very obvious and evident that they design, many of them design it in a very horizontal manner, failing to see the potential of the vertical aspect of a, of a building. And I want them to also recognize the conditions of the site so that they can react towards it, which was very evident in some groups. So next week will be digital in format because we'll be online. So our format is online, face-to-face, -face, online. And I want to see what they come up with, especially as a result of the previous uh, critique. So I hope uh, that you, you see what, uh, what happens next. So thank you.